So you want to start mining cryptocurrency, whether that's Bitcoins, Ethereum, Zcash or anything else. Hopefully this video should give you an idea of what that is, what it means, how much you can earn and what sorts of uh, setup you need to do it and of course how to do it itself. So a little bit about what cryptocurrency mining is. Depending on which uh, cryptocurrency you're dealing with and which cryptocurrency you're actually mining will depend slightly on the, the sort of nuances of it all. Of course Bitcoin is the biggest, the most popular and highly valued cryptocurrency at the moment. It's kind of the, the original where something like Ethereum is almost like a, a version two of Bitcoin, uh, where it's a little bit better for API handling and that sort of stuff. So uh, Ethereum is going to be very interesting, but I'm mostly talking about Bitcoin here as that's the one that A, I have the most knowledge on and B, is the kind of most established. A sort of brief high level overview of what cryptocurrency mining is, is basically uh, using the computational power of your computer, likely your graphics cards, to be able to solve a problem. This problem actually helps keep the entire system working as it's you're confirming the the blockchain. The blockchain is a big list of transactions, every transaction that has ever happened, uh, which actually does mean that uh, Bitcoins or cryptocurrencies are actually pretty trackable, but that's kind of a story for a different video. But nonetheless, the, the blockchain is something that is very necessary and mining actually adds new blocks to that to confirm the transactions. As part of the design of these cryptocurrencies, there's actually a difficulty level. So the more you mine these uh, coins or these, you know, these currencies, uh, the actual harder it gets to do. So for Bitcoin, the difficulty has been far higher than any graphics card can handle for quite a few years now. We've basically got into this territory where ASICs or chips are specifically designed to do the exact computation that Bitcoin mining requires. That is uh, basically all you can use right now. Ethereum is a newer cryptocurrency that is almost like a version two of Bitcoin. A lot of the problems that Bitcoin had have now been solved with Ethereum. Uh, and this is actually one of the most popular uh, you know, cryptocurrencies to be mining. Right now we are just about to come up to a doubling of difficulty, so do bear that in mind if you are planning on mining, then whatever you're earning right now, despite the fact that the value will go up, the actual solutions per second kind of thing will go down uh, by half. Uh, for whatever card you're using, so to do bear that in mind is you're likely going to have your earnings halved when that happens. I should also make it clear that there are, at least for Bitcoins anyway, a finite amount of Bitcoins. I think it's only something about 21 million if I remember rightly, and that's why the value of Bitcoins are so high. If you compare that to, you know, the US dollar where there are trillions and trillions of US dollars in the wild, at least in paper form anyway, uh, and that is in theory a limitless supply, Bitcoin is a fully finite resource and therefore the value of it is considerably higher. I believe this is the same with Ethereum so we're likely going to see the Ethereum value go up even higher from at least at the time of filming around about $300 and it's like they're just going to keep climbing as difficulty rises as more Ethereum uh, coins are sort of made. I want to make it clear that thanks to Bitcoin mining GPU prices have skyrocketed to potentially double their original price as of just a couple of months ago so if you are planning on following this guide I only recommend recommend that you use cards you already have or systems you already own. It really, I, I really don't see any profits in buying GPUs right now to mine on. It really doesn't make that much sense at this point in time. And especially once Ethereum doubles in uh, difficulty and other, uh, you know, uh, Zcash and all that sort of stuff, double in difficulty, the reward will go down. A lot of people will flood the market with these used RX 480s, 580s, you know, 470s, 570s and all that sort of stuff, which means that that the resale value will plummet. So even if you're planning on buying a card to mine for a bit and then sell it on later, you're likely gonna be making a loss on the card if nothing else. And then yeah, I doubt you're probably gonna make that much money from it. So I just wanna make that quite clear. Now specifically here, I'm gonna be using the Nice Hash Miner as I mentioned, and we will be using the Equihash algorithm. This actually mines for Zcash, not Ethereum. You can use the Dagger Hashimoto algorithm uh, to mine for Ethereum, but personally I couldn't get that to connect connect and work, uh, so I won't be doing that. And as I mentioned, Ethereum is just about to have a doubling in uh, difficulty, so uh, that's kind of a, a bit more of a risky one, whereas Zcash, at least at the moment anyway, is a pretty good earner. So what sort of money can you expect from this? Well, I'm currently uh, testing this out on a system with an RX 480 and a 470, and a separate system with a, another 470 in it. So I have two systems running, uh, both of which are uh, not using the CPU for mining, just the, the 480, the 470 in one, and a 470 in another. In my testing, I was seeing about eight 
eight pounds a day, at least for the, the ICRASH algorithm at the time of filming. Now do bear in mind that difficulty will increase and of course you do also have to take into account the electricity cost. That's pretty simple to calculate. Uh, I do recommend bra grabbing one of the power meters so you can see exactly how much your system is using. For me, uh, the, the RX 480 and 470 system was using about 400 watts and the uh, system downstairs, the 470 uh, alone, was using about 150 watts. So with those numbers, you basically add the two up. So about 550 watts uh, and use the, the formula that should be on screen. It's basically kilowatt hours, so in my case 0.55 uh, times the, the price of your electricity, so in my case that's 13 pence uh, or you know, uh, 0.13 pounds, and then you times that by the amount of hours that it is on, so I'd likely do 24 just for simplicity, and then times that by 365 and you'll see how much money it's going to cost you per year for electricity. You can then work out how much money you'd make from actually mining it itself so uh, nice hash actually tells you how much you're earning per day so again for me I was earning on average about eight pounds a day so if you take the eight pounds times that by 365 and then subtract the electricity cost you will get your profit for me that was about two thousand to three thousand pounds at least uh, you know in the, the testing that I've done of course uh, one of the systems is actually in the filming room so I won't necessarily be doing that the entire time and I don't think that I'll necessarily keep it mining uh, the whole time and of course difficulty will increase as well so that will go down uh, to a point where it's likely going to be a case where even if I did continue mining 24-7 it wouldn't be breaking even in terms of just the electricity alone. Now of course these are all cards that I didn't necessarily pay for which means that this is a pretty profitable enterprise overall but if you are considering buying cards to uh, cryptocurrency mine I would make it very clear that that is potentially quite a risky investment. Of course there will likely always be other cryptocurrencies that you can get but of course the value of those currencies is not necessarily going to be the, the highest, it's not going to necessarily be taken up by a lot of people and therefore your mining may be sort of uh, worthless in terms of of its actual end result, so bear that one in mind. So the conclusion here is uh, that, well, especially with a system like I currently have, two 470s and a 480, you could make something like two to three thousand pounds a year. That is obviously not including uh, any difficulty increases, which are likely to be happening relatively soon as more people are Bitcoin mining. And of course, uh, you do need to be careful of your electricity bill. And if you're buying these cards, that's, that's a pretty slim profit margin. You should probably do some other things that are more worthwhile than that. So just bear that one in mind. If you have any questions about this video, Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency or mining any of them as well, let me know in the comments down below and I will try and answer as best as I possibly can. There's some fantastic computer file videos on Bitcoin, the blockchain and how it all works. So feel free to take a look at those. I'll probably leave either one on the screen or cards up above or something like that. Uh, or feel free to check out Computer Files channel as well but uh, otherwise I guess that's kind of it if you enjoyed the video feel free to hit subscribe if you didn't feel free to let me know why in the comments down below if you want to support me feel free to donate to my bitcoin wallet I guess I'll put that in the description and of course check out the Amazon and Overclockers UK affiliate links as well as I said subscribe if you enjoyed the video I'll leave some other videos over here for you the subscribe button somewhere on this side and uh yeah we'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching